Alright, so I've come up with another use for centrifugal forces and bombs. Last time I used it to make a massive carpet bomber, and now I want to use it to create an orbital bombardment from space. Alright, we are on the space map, and I have not been here in so long. Actually, I don't remember what the last thing I did here was. It has been uh, forever. But what I want to try and build is a way to spin up a bunch of bomb bays, and then fling them out as I'm flying towards a, uh, like one of these planets down here. That way, in theory, they'll all spread out and then maintain their velocity until they get into the atmosphere, and then they'll just rain down destruction from really far away. Uh, so this was kind of inspired by two main things. One obviously being the centrifugal bomber I made not too long ago, uh, but the other is almost a year ago. It's, it, it's been a very long time. I made an interplanetary missile, and I kind of thought, you know, what if what if I do another, like, space weapon like that? And originally I was thinking of using bomb bays and spinning on a missile, but then I thought, let's just optimize it and let's just make a big just orbital bombardment. And I mean, I say orbital bombardment, I guess it's, it's technically not orbital, you know, technically it's, you know, we're not orbiting anything, but it sounds cooler if I say orbital bombardment, so we're gonna stick with that. For right now, I'm just gonna try and compact these down as much as I can. Okay, I have 64 of these bomb bays in here now, and uh, yeah, it's quite a few, and I've just formed a little a circle sort of thing with it. We've got a gyro in here. I'm thinking it might actually have to go somewhat slow, because I think as the bombs get thrown out, they won't actually stop like drifting away because it's you know space and there's no air resistance so i'm just gonna try something like this then i want to attach it to a fairly basic frame back here just something so we can move it into position uh, and then once i have that done we can probably just start testing it okay super basic thing right now uh, oh look at all those reticles <laughs> got to disable them anyway so i've got uh just basic controls on here i uh, forgot the bomb bays were still binded uh, okay, so we can turn this on and it spins it up uh, and we have uh, some proper control over this. It's a little fast. I'm going to have to turn that down. Uh, but then we should just be able to like, you know, so, so you see the vision here because when I, <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I'm, I'm going to slow down the servo on here even more because we don't need it that fast. Maybe to like strength one then turn the strength on these way down. Okay, so now we have some proper control over this, uh, and I mean, it's pretty pretty good. As we spin this up, it's pretty slow, but that way when it, they release, oh, that's cool. Okay, um, there's a little dead zone in the middle, which, uh, I mean, I guess I could, yeah, I could fix that. Alright, does this make it better? If I spin it up, and then... I think that's a little better. Of course, it doesn't look quite as nice now. I guess I can just shift some of this back. Oh, this is actually slightly more complicated than I thought it would be. Okay, I've upgraded, so now we've got uh, some better control over this, and it actually has, like, a whole, like, cage it spins in, which I think is pretty cool. And, of course, it still, uh, still does that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, but anyway, now I'm actually going to make some sort of structure around this. And I want to give it, um, you know, it needs propulsion. Uh, I'll just, I'll figure that out as I build this, uh, creation. Alright, so here's my first prototype. Uh, we should have full control over this. Uh, we can move, move forward. I've got reverse thrusters, which should, uh, should be fairly powerful. This actually may be more powerful than the rocket engine. Uh, but then, we can use this, and I can, uh, turn, I... I need to put quantum brothers on this so it stays straight, uh, because otherwise, if uh, if I'm not going directly like straight as I spin this up, we could run into some big issues. Okay, I think this should uh, suffice. So now, if I turn, it should. Yep, that seems to straighten us out. And now, I can hit one to start spinning, and then I should be able to hit two. Okay, I forgot I shouldn't be accelerating while doing that. Uh, but that seems to work. Let me see if I can catch up to them. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, they despawned. That, I hope that isn't going to be an issue, like them despawning. Uh, let me just test it over here. So if I angle towards this, and then just try to maintain my speed a bit, and then we can kind of slow down. There we go. So now those all go out. Oh. 
Okay, I just hit one. Oh no, they despawned. I did not think this was going to be an issue. So if I spin them up, going forward, I can drop a... <laughs> I forgot to stop going forward. Okay, so the despawning uh, may be an issue. If I just do this, spin it up, I up the speed of it, and now if I do this... Now that... Ooh, don't want to hit him. Okay, see... How would that not hit me? Uh, this is looking really good. And... Are they not affected by gravity even when they go... Oh, now they despawned again. Man, that is, uh... That's annoying. Alright, what if I just get them going faster? So let me point over here. And then I can straighten out. And I think I'm going about max speed. Yep. Okay, so now I can do that. They all go out. And now they're going faster. Maybe. I can actually just keep doing this. And now, assuming they don't despawn, uh, I can stop, and then they should go. Oh! Okay, it does something. Alright, let me try that again over here. I'm going to max speed now, and if I do them this early, are these just going to despawn? Anyway, I can keep chopping them. I think, I think we're good. Whoa! Okay. I think I just need to make sure I don't do it too uh, too soon. And I'm actually going to go ahead. I was planning on doing this a lot farther away, but I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm going to turn off the strength of the spinning gyro. So there we go. It goes much faster. So now I don't. I can like get them all going, and they should spread out a lot faster. So is this too soon? And obviously, I, I want to be doing this from like above the planet, but for right now, this is fine. So they're all going out. Uh, I actually don't know if they started to despawn. They might have. Oh yeah, they're they're definitely despawning. Okay. Well, that's still very cool. Uh, let me try to get above a planet to do this. Also, I want to turn down the strength of all of these, so that way we have a. I think that lets us have a higher top speed. Oh wait, if I go backwards, can I just? <laughs> I can just do this. They don't go out very far because uh, we're in atmosphere, but we can still kind of do something. Okay, I think I need to add more thrust to this. And by add more thrust, I mean just throw on a bunch more rocket engines. Also, I like how this is more of like a spacey kind of build. Like it's, you know, more like structural in the back and then just, the I don't know, it just kind of feels like a more space oriented build. Because it feels that way just because it's more like function over form or more so that, you know, we don't have to worry about aerodynamics. Uh, anyway, now I'm going max speed, which is about, about here, and then I can release them. And they should go much faster. And now they're still going, and they'll probably despawn pretty soon. Oh, yep, there they go. Man, I, I really wish those didn't despawn. That's really annoying. Anyway, let's reposition here and do a little bit of this. So if I'm going full speed, Towards here, let me turn a bit, and now I should be able to just maybe point out a bit more and then start releasing them. Now I have a feeling these are going to despawn before they hit the ground, but I, I, oh, you know, I should time them so they just drop constantly. I might also need to expand the spinner, but right now we are able to do this, and then maybe one more. Okay, now full reverse. And, okay, that's pretty cool. That's not as big of an area of effect that I, uh, as I thought I'd get. So I think I want to try expanding the spinner. Okay, this thing is now exactly 700 complexity. I added a lot more bombs, so when it spins up, uh, we get a, uh, a, nice, a nice amount of bombs <laughs> coming out from this. Anyway, let me angle down towards Dune down here. And I have, uh, I forgot to set up the timings. I'll do that next so we can uh, actually just leave the bombs on. Also, I had to get rid of the rain around it because I figured I'd rather just leave from Lexi Mud off than turn it on just to get that rain. So, oh well. Anyway, uh, let me angle down. And this, uh, we're kind of coming at it from an angle, which I didn't want to do, but eh, shouldn't be a big deal. Let's begin. Uh, so these first, uh, yeah, these first few volleys are probably just gonna despawn, but oh well. Also, are we drifting a little? 
I might need to up the strength on the uh, the quantum rudders. All right, this is looking uh, very menacing. All right, last one. And uh, well, maybe no, that's it. Full reverse. There they go. How big of a spread are we gonna get? Oh, oh, it's not okay. Wow. Uh, that's pretty cool. Alright, let me set up the timings now, so that way I can just take these and, like, leave them on toggle. And I don't remember the delay in between these, so you know what, let me just test that real quick. Okay, after a bit of experimenting, I found that it takes 5 seconds from the point where you press the button, and it drops its first bombs to when it's ready to drop them again. So, all I need to do is stagger these in some way, so that it, uh, it just loops for 5 seconds. Okay, uh, I just spent way too long setting up all the timings, uh, but now, if, uh, if I go full speed here, and go ahead and spin it up, and I believe I made sure these are on toggle, uh, if I just press it once... Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that pattern too. That is actually incredible. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's fly this into a planet and actually do stuff. I also think I'm gonna turn up the strength on these. Also, I'm gonna paint some of this so that I can uh, tell it apart from the rest and I kind of know where the top of my creation is. Also, I left those four reticles on up there so you know we can actually see the spinning because that was really cool for last time. Also, I should paint that. It's just like a black disc right now, which I guess is kind of cool, but you know, I should do something with it. Anyway. Um, this should be high enough, since unfortunately they start despawning, so it's really only the ones that I drop while I'm closer to the planet that actually impact, but, oh well, I guess this is good. Oh, actually I can turn while I do this too. Oh yeah. Oh wait, are they? I think this is working. I don't know if they're despawning as I, like, drop them, but whatever. Yeah, they definitely are, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, I've entered the atmosphere, let's stop. Oh, there we go, okay. Um, it's slightly underwhelming for the amount of bombs I'm, like, you know, dropping here. Uh, oh, we can just do this, too. We can just rain down destruction. That's kind of cool. You know what I actually might do? I think I'm gonna turn up the strength of the gyro here, so we get more of a spread on this. Uh oh. Alright, what if I aim this towards the space station over here? What, uh, what will that do? Also, I should not have used these engines. They are so bright, but whatever. Oh. I did not get up to max speed. Right, you know what? I think I'm gonna quickly paint this up. Okay, this, this seems kinda cool. I gave it a little, like, kinda radial gradient or something. I don't know. Uh, let's shoot this at something again. You know what? We're right here. Might as well, uh, Shoot them at this. Oh, look at that. Uh oh, I hit myself. Alright, stop. Oh! Okay, well, I, I, I kind of hit it before I could actually see any of it. Oh, what if I launch these into the asteroid field below? Those could hit some of the asteroids as they, uh, as they travel through. You know what, let's try that. Uh oh, those are behind me. Oh, we're fine. Alright. You know what, this, this works. Uh... We're, I mean, we're, it's still working. This is so loud. I I think it's... Okay, I'm gonna stop and let the impacts happen. Oh. It kind of worked. I'm trying to slow down. Um... <laughs> yep, I, that did something. Alright, let's go back to... Dune, where, where's the, oh, that's down there. This does look very menacing, though. I mean, just look at this. Oh. Uh, we're just... <laughs> oh, that's funny. They just kind of get uh, released out in a big clump when I don't spin it. All right, but let's actually spin it up and get a decently, like, centered on this. Okay, come on. This is 
Oh boy, this is actually not the easiest thing to pilot. Okay, uh, you know, we'll adjust it as we go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, maybe a little this way. I really wish these didn't despawn as much as they did. There's so many of them. It's just like raining. Alright, here we go. As soon as I enter the atmosphere, I will, uh, try oh, okay, there we go. Stop, 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 okay. Oh! Oh. Okay, I think the- oh no, it's still going. Wow. Okay, I can just hover here and, uh, release them. Look at that. This is honestly more effective. I should've just done this. <laughs> we can just spit them out like- Oh! Can I fling them around in here? Oh, alright, let's try, uh, let's try it here. Hopefully it works. Oh boy, okay, come on. Just angle, angle down this. It's not- I, I don't know why it's acting all weird, but whatever. Okay, this seems pretty good. We'll turn on the bombs. And... Uh, and I am dead. Are they all gonna despawn? Th oh! Okay, well that was a good amount of spread. Uh, if only, uh, you know, I could have actually, like, dropped more before I exploded. Okay, this time I'm actually gonna let myself get up to top speed. Because if I do it early, that's when it just destroys me. So, uh, that should be good. We can begin dropping. And, uh, yeah, this is- it's so loud. I'm gonna have to turn the game volume way down eh, while editing. Okay. This is a lot of bombs. Alright, I think that's good. Oh! That's pretty cool. Alright, I want to try and hit the space station. I don't think I am far enough away. Yep, I am not at top speed. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm gonna blow myself up. Yep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well. It just kind of turned into a missile. Let's try that again. Alright, I'm spinning it up. And hopefully I'm lined up. Kind of, I don't really have an easy way to tell. Alright, let's start. I mean, this thing has enough spread on it that it shouldn't really matter. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay. And stop. I don't think I'm not going to be able to slow down. Ooh. Oh wait, I, I didn't actually hit it. Alright, let's do one more going at Dune, uh, but going kind of sideways. Alright, uh, 700 kilometers per hour. Let's start releasing them, and as we near the surface, uh, wait, am I drifting? Uh, not really, it's fine. Okay, and there we go. Oh. Yeah, anything down on the surface here would probably be gone. All right. Well, I think that was uh, that was that was pretty much pretty much it. Uh, it uh, unfortunately it didn't. It wasn't as cool as I was hoping because the bombs despawn like really fast. I, I don't know why they do that. That's really annoying. Uh, but oh well. Uh, so now I'm just going to go full speed into this planet over here. And when I hit it and explode, uh, video will end. It actually might take a while to, to get there. Uh, you know what? Let's aim for an asteroid instead. It's gonna take too long to get over there. So let's aim for one of these, and then as soon as I hit that, the video will be over. Okay, now I'm getting nice and close. Really hope I don't miss. Nope, here we go. 